The internet, something we use every single day of our lives, yet it's also something that we know very little of. If you asked a hundred different people how the internet came to be, I bet none could tell you the exact truth. That's why I'm here. We're going to go on a tour of the history of the internet. ARPANET was the first real network to run on packet switching technology, which was new at the time. On October 29, 1969, computers at Stanford and UCLA connected for the first time. In effect, they were the first hosts on what would one day become the internet. Another major milestone occurred in 1969 and was the inception of Unix, the operating system whose design heavily influenced that of Linux and FreeBSD, the operating systems most popular in today's web servers and web hosting services. An ARPANET network was established between Harvard, MIT, and BBN, the company that created the interface message processor computers used to connect to the network in 1970. ARPANET made its first transatlantic connection in 1973 with the University College of London. 1974 was a breakthrough year. A proposal was published to link ARPA-like networks together into a so-called internetwork, which would have no central control and would work around a transmission control protocol, which eventually became TCP IP. With the popularity of emailing, the first modern email program was developed by John Vital, a programmer at the University of Southern California, in 1975. The biggest technological advance this program called MSG made was the addition of reply and forward. 1977 is the year the first PC modem developed by Dennis Hayes and Dale Hetherington was introduced and initially sold to computer hobbyists. The first bulletin board system, BBS, was developed during a blizzard in Chicago in 1978. The precursor to World of Warcraft and Second Life was developed in 1979 and was called MUD, short for Multi-User Dungeon. MUDs were entirely text-based virtual worlds, combining elements of role-playing games, interactive fiction, and online chat. In 1979, Usenet was created by two undergrad students. Usenet was an internet-based discussion system, allowing people from around the globe to converse about the same topics by posting public messages categorized by news groups. The domain name system was created in 1984, along with the first domain main servers, DNS. The do domain name system was important in that it made addresses on the internet more human-friendly compared to its numerical IP address counterparts. By 1987, there were nearly 30,000 hosts on the internet. The original ARPANET protocol had been limited to 1,000 hosts, but the adoption of the TCP IP standard made larger numbers of hosts possible. One of the first major internet worms was released in 1988, referred to as the Morris Worm. It was written by Robert Tapon Morris and caused major interruptions across large parts of the internet. When Apple pulled out of the Apple Link program in 1989, the project was renamed and America Online was born. AOL, still in existence today, later on made the internet popular amongst the average internet users. 1989 also brought about the proposal for the World Wide Web. Written by Tim Berners-Lee, it was originally published in the March issue of Macworld, and then redistributed in May 1990. It was written to persuade CERN that a global hypertext system was in CERN's best interest. It was originally called Mesh. The term World Wide Web was coined while Berners-Lee was writing the code in 1990. 1991 brought some major innovations to the world of the internet. The first web page was created and much like the first email explained what the email was, the purpose was to explain what the World Wide Web was. The MP3 file format was accepted as a standard in 1991. MP3 files, being highly compressed, later became a popular file format to share songs and entire albums via the internet. The first widely downloaded internet browser, Mosaic, was released in 1993. While Mosaic wasn't the first web browser, it is considered the first browser to make the internet easily accessible to non-techies. 1995 is considered the first year for the internet becoming commercialized. Two major online businesses got their start that year. The first sale on Echo Bay was made that year. Echo Bay later became what we now know as eBay, and Amazon.com also started in 1995, though it didn't turn a profit for six years until 2001. Java and JavaScript, originally called LiveScript by its creator, Brendan Eich, was deployed as part of the Netscape Navigator browser in 1995. In 1996, Hotmail, the first webmail service, was launched. In 1998, the first major news story to be broken online was the Bill Clinton-Monica Lewinsky scandal, which was posted on the Drudge Report after Newsweek killed the story. Google went live in 1998, revolutionizing the way in which people find information online. 2000 was the year of the dot-com collapse, resulting in huge losses for legions of investors. 
Hundreds of companies closed, some of which had never turned a profit for their investors. The NASDAQ, which listed a large number of tech companies, peaked at over 5,000, then lost 10% of its value in a single day and hit rock bottom in October of 2002. In 2003, Skype was released to the public, giving a user-friendly interface to voice over IP calling. Dig, a social news site, launched on November of 2004, paving the way for sites such as Reddit, Mix, and Yahoo Buzz. 2004, Facebook was founded, and soon after that, in 2005, YouTube appeared, and after that, Twitter was founded in 2006. The biggest innovation of 2007 was almost certainly the iPhone, which was almost wholly responsible for renewed interest in mobile web applications and design. The first internet election took place in 2008 with the U.S. presidential election. It was the first year that natural, national candidates took full advantage of all the internet had to offer. Hillary Clinton was one of the first to jump on board with YouTube campaign videos. Virtually every candidate had a Facebook page or a Twitter feed or both. 